Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm called Collins Trevaze from Kiangong University. I will be discussing a review on banana fiber and its applications. Um, the contents we have will be banana production, global banana distribution, technology development, mm -hmm. surface modification, applications, properties, and conclusion. When we look at the global banana production, uh, Latin America and Caribbean have the highest exports from 2016 to 2020. Af uh, Africa and Asia have been the lowest exporters from 2016 to 2020. But there is high production, 115.7 million tons worldwide within 130 countries. Mm. India, Uganda, B, and China being the largest producers. When you look at this graph, India lies, India and China lie in Asia, Uganda is in Africa, but we can see they have these three countries have low exports, meaning there is domestic consumption and low value addition, most probably, which results uh, in less exports. And maybe there are other factors. Uh, concerning the global production or global distribution of banana fibers. Uh, according to FAO, India is the biggest producer, followed by China in Uganda third, and many others follow. Uganda in East Af in in Africa and East Africa is the leading consumer. But the utilization of banana fiber is still undeveloped, which calls for step up in technology of processing the banana fiber in all producing countries, including Uganda in East Africa. Uh, when we look at the extraction, there are efforts that have been made by very many researchers to extract and treat the fiber uh, following uh, this kind of, uh, when you look at figure one, uh, we have some extracted fiber. Most times they use mechanical extraction. Um, and the fiber is obtained from the pseudo stems. And most times when we treat the fiber, uh, we get our final product as this soft fiber, which can be used for different applications. This can be achieved by single or combined treatment or gumming methods, which improve the fiber uh, physical and mechanical performance, just like we see in uh, figure two. Surface modification or treatment can be done using a variety of methods. Some of them are chemical, some of them are enzymatic, plasma, ozone, ultraviolet, radiation, activated water, ultrasounds, and so on. The choice of methods is according to end of application. That one we should know. Uh, we can choose the method according to the kind of application we want to use the fiber in. Uh, these treatments end up 
affecting the mechanical and thermal physical properties and also improves on the fineness of the single fibers and the fiber matrix interface. Uh, for example, alkali treatment could be combined with some of these uh, to get better results, maybe in improving more on the fineness or the adherence to fiber and matrix, some, some other chemical treatments are silani, uh, acetylation or esterification or benzylation. Uh, some of them uh, help to maximize hydrophobicity. Yeah, and, and so on. The fiber properties uh, after treatment can be improved. For example, you can see banana fiber cellulose content can improve from 60 to 85. The hemicelluloses can be within that range and the rest. And the fiber properties also, uh, uh, we can have small diameter up to 8.3 of the banana fiber because untreated fiber can be a hundred plus micrometers but after treatment can come to 8.3 uh, compared to these other ones which are slightly higher and the moisture content is around 9.8 to 12. The density is that. And the tensile strength is also good compared to these other fibers. The biocomposites of uh, banana fiber combined with these other polymer resins. Uh, Epoxy seems to have a very promising trend with high tensile strength, tensile uh, modulus, frictional strength, frictional modulus, and uh, impact impact strength. Yeah. In other applications, we can have banana fiber made into fabric. Mm. And also, we can make epoxy composite boards. Then we can also make disposable plates, cups, boxes, evolved by compression molding. And even some car parts can be made. Uh, Mercedes Benz S class door panels are made of natural fibers. It's important to develop appropriate sustainable methods that provide high quality banana fiber. Epoxy resins with banana fiber reinforcement it results in better mechanical properties. We have seen the properties of epoxy and it's really promising with high tensile strength, pressure strength, high thermal resistance, excellent chemical resistance. Um, to conclude, I will say that if we advance on the methods of processing uh, cellulose fibers, maybe using nano cellulose technology, in banana fiber will transform various fields, including medical science and the electronic industry. Thank you for listening. Banana is the next fiber. Banana fiber is the next fiber. Thank you.